in this video, we are going to look at Excel functions. So an Excel function is a predefined computation that simplifies creating a formula that can help you perform a complex calculation. In Excel, we have more than 400 functions, which can be organized into about um, 14 categories. And in this uh, chapter, we're going to look at some of the primary function categories, which will be date and time, uh, financial, get my pen here, so date and time, financial, logical, lookup and reference, we'll look at math and trig, and we'll look at also stats, uh, statistical uh, category, okay? Um, we're also going to look at syntax. Okay, so when using functions, you must use the correct syntax. So syntax is the rules that dictate the structure and components required to perform the necessary calculation. So you always start a function with an equal sign, followed by the function name, and then its arguments in parentheses, or I call them brackets. Okay, so what's an argument? Functions arguments specify the inputs, such as you might need to reference cells or values or arithmetic expressions that are required to complete the operation. So in some cases, a function requires multiple arguments, uh, and these arguments would be separated by commas. Okay, so to insert a function by typing, first you have to type the equal sign in, then you begin typing the function name. So the formula autocomplete displays a list of functions and define names that match letters as you type formula. For example, if you type equals and then you start typing SU, the formula autocomplete is going to display a list of functions and names that starts with SU. So let's go check that out here. Okay, so if I go equals, right, this is the correct syntax when you begin a function you always type equal in and then you can start typing in if you know the name of the function that you want so you go su okay so I'm gonna type in sum and then now I can see all the other functions that also type that also start with su like substitute subtotal sum so at this point I can go click down to sum or I can just finish typing okay I'm gonna click down to sum right and then double click in that so you have the open parentheses here okay and then here I have in bold number one okay so you need like a range of numbers an array of numbers that you want to calculate the sum of and then you can also separate it or add a second argument if there's another range of numbers that you also want the sum of you can separate that by a comma but now I'm just going to select okay so I want the sum of this okay and I'm gonna close the parentheses there we go and there we have it it is in percentage for whatever reason so I can go here and I'm going to um, I'm gonna go into format cells and then I'm going to change the number and not make it percentage there we go so you shouldn't need to do that I don't think yours would be in percentage maybe I was using this worksheet before uh, doing something else all right so there there we have it this adds up all the numbers in that range there okay so this would be the argument the syntax is um, the equals sum which is the function name and that the parentheses and then the range here the, the and this that's sorry the argument here and this is the argument okay that's what you have to enter all right so back to the PowerPoint here and okay so when you're inserting a function you can also use the insert function dialog box to search for a function select a function category and then select the function from the list this is useful um, if you want to browse the list of functions, especially if you're not sure of the function that you want. Okay, so you can click insert function, which is between the name box and the formula bar or insert function from the function library. So let's go take a look at those two options. Okay, so just now I just typed in sum, but you can actually go up here. 
Okay. To insert function right there. Do you see that? Okay, so insert function. And then you can type in, okay, sum. There we go. And then you have sum. And you can type it in here and you go, okay. And now here we have, you know, the range that you can type in if you know, or of course you know, but if you just want to type in manually, you know, the range here, uh, then you can just type in, you know, G3 to G7, okay, G3 colon here, G3 colon, and then G7, you can type that in it shows you what those values are or you can just if you don't want to do that that's you find that tedious you can just select here like that and while you're selecting the dialog box sort of gets smaller and then when you're done selecting it expands again okay you can also collapse this and then you know select oh I kind of double select it and then expand it again all right but you only need to do that because uh, if, if if it's covering, you know, the range. Like say if your dialog box is here, now you can't go select your uh, your range here. Then you can close it and then do that. And to expand it, you click on that again. And there you go. And then you can say okay. Or if there's another, this is optional. You don't have to. So if you also want to add this here, okay. And then you can do so and go okay so now it's tallying up you know g3 to g7 and also e3 to e7 there and it goes okay and there you have it and for some reason it's still percentage so i'm just gonna change that to just regular numbers and there you have it okay Next, um, let's go take a look at function arguments dialog box. We just looked at that. So the function arguments dialog box opens up so you can enter the arguments for that specific function. So like I said, the argument names in bold are required. You have to enter those arguments, but the ones that are not bolded are optional. If you want to add them for extra information to kind of tailor that uh, function, uh, the outcome, then you can add it, but you don't need to. Um, Okay, and then this talks about, you know, typing in the cell references or clicking um, and selecting on the spreadsheet itself, which I just showed you how to do. So one thing I haven't showed, uh, I forgot to show you was the other way to insert a function. So I'm just gonna go here and go, so I'm gonna click in the cell here, G11, then I'm gonna go to formulas and over here, um, you have, you can insert function here as well. And that also brings it, brings it up. You also have some functions that are already here. So if it's something like sum, you can just go right here and click it. And you can see that's average count numbers, max, min, and so on. We'll take a look at those in the following slides. Okay. And, um, yeah, so let's, so just to recap, insert function here, this button here does the same thing as this button here. Okay, brings up the same dialog box. All right. Okay, so sometimes you're going to end up with this uh, number sign and then name, which when you see that, okay, after you enter a function and this displays in the cell, it's probably because you mistyped the function name. So if I went here and then I went equals, I typed in Sam and then this, this is a typo and then it's going to be like name I, I don't understand what is that okay so so if you see that it means that you probably mistyped the function name so to avoid this problem select the function name from the formula autocomplete list as you type the function name so maybe there are some things that are you know obviously you're not gonna you know misspell name but there are some things that you might uh, misspell like maybe substitute maybe use substitute maybe you forgot to add a t at the end uh you know you, that's more you know more likely that you would misspell something like that so to avoid things like that just as this autocomplete is you know showing up just click on it don't you know don't bother trying to type it all out yourself you don't get extra points for it so um yeah so make sure you use the autocomplete